Okay, so here we go. It is kind of a cloudy day, and I have the blinds kind of open. And here in the room that I'm in, I can see perfectly fine. Um, it's not, again, it's not a very sunny day, but there's enough light in here where I can see fine. So on my desk, I have a small cardboard box, and I'm going to use it to cover the sensor. Okay, so I covered the sensor, and right away we see the numbers jumped up to 1,020-something, and we see the output change to, it's dark in here. And let's remove the box. And okay, we can see the light. So that's our program. That's our simple program. And let's think about now what we can do to functionize this program and make a function out of it. So what we need to make a function first is a function definition. You can't just stick a function definition anywhere. It has to be outside of the loop. It could come before the loop, like if I wanted to put it up here on line 7, or after the loop, which is what we're going to do, and what people usually do. But either way, it cannot be inside of the loop. So you can put it before or after the loop. We're going to go ahead and we're going to stick it here below the loop. Good practice says to comment code well, and I suggest you do this with any function you write yourself. Start out with some comments that gives the date you wrote it, what it does, and other information. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to start out with a couple comments that describe the function and say a little bit about it. That way, if I come back six months or a year from now to use this function somewhere else, I know what it does. Now, it's relatively simple. It's only going to be a few lines of code. But once you get to know functions and you start learning more and using Arduino more, you're going to write more and more complex functions. So this is a good habit to get into now. So let's do it. Okay, so that pretty much describes what our simple function does. Notice here that I, first of all, we make it clear that this is a function definition. We have a date. We talk about what it does. We talk about its parameters and what it returns. Really not a whole lot more we could say about it. So let's go ahead and think about what we need to do. Now, most of the code or pretty much, well, no, most of the code has already been written. So it's not like we have to think really hard about what we're going to do here. But that's not always the case, especially if you're starting fresh, writing a function right out of the gate for a specific task. So just keep that in mind. Let's write the definition. We know it's going to return an integer, and we want to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it light level. That pretty much describes what it does. And its parameter, and there's only one, is going to be the light sensor pin. And then we're going to have a curly brace so the compiler knows it is a function definition. Now we need another integer for the sensor reading. And that is going to be whatever analog read. There we go. Must have hit the insert key by accident. I hate that. Anyway, whatever analog read gets from our light sensor. And that's it. We need to return this, though, to the caller. So I'm going to use a new keyword here. I think we talked about it in the last lesson, the return keyword. We need to use that. And we are returning the sensor reading. Okay, so now that we wrote our function, we don't need this anymore. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And here we need to call our function. And to do that, I'm going to get rid of this. Well, actually, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm just going to modify it because that is the name of our function, light level. So we need to call it. So serial.print will call light level. And in there, we need to put course our LDR pin and then we fall into our if statement 
Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can upload this code and see what happens. Oh look, an error. And looks like I left out the closing parenthesis. Let me fix that. Okay, here we go. Serial monitor open. And as we can see, it is running through the loop. Each time the loop calls a function, the function does its magic. It returns its value, which is this, to the caller, which is the loop function here. And then we follow into these if statements. So wait a minute, something, something is wrong. We can see that it is always printing the same statement regardless of the value. And I'll shine my light on it. And obviously that qualifies for being light. And I'll cover it with a box. And we can see the number jump up. But wh what's the problem? Well, we have this if statement. But the problem is we need to also have the if statement call the function. So you see what I mean here. Let's try this. Here, the if statement is going to call the function whatever it returns. If, it re if its return value is greater than 1,000, then it's going to print it's dark in here. If not, then we're going to print I can see the light, and then we're going to have our delay. Let's see if our thinking is correct and see if this works. Okay, so we are right on the border of 1,000. And let's cover it up. There we go. So I covered it up with a box, and we can see we jumped up above 1,000. And now we're getting our desired output. When we have it covered, it's saying, oh, it's dark in here. When we take the cover off, and these sensors do take time to settle. So let me see here. I'll just shine my light on it. Boom. Now we can see the light. So we need to call this function twice once here to get the value and print it to the serial monitor and then again to do our comparison statement for our if statement let's quickly review what we have done let me clean this up a little bit so here is our function definition and this describes what the function returns and then here is the function's parameter or what the function takes in and what does it take? Well, it takes in this light sensor pin, which is described up here. These two map together. So we pass this function, light level, here's the name of the function. We pass it LDR pin, which was pin A5. Here it's called light sensor pin in definition, and here it's called LDR pin. Now, I could have named this whatever I want, but again, we want names that make sense. Here we have an integer sensor reading, and this is what the function is going to use, and it's going to whatever analog read is getting from the light sensor pin, which we already said was pin A5 here, and we just gave it a name. And then it's going to return that reading, which again, is just a number. It's just going to be a number from 0 to 1023. It's going to return it back to the loop function, back to serial print, and then again back over here in this if statement so we can make the comparison and determine whether it's dark or not. So I know there's a lot of people who are new to this who may not understand this and are still a little bit confused. So what I'm going to do 